small picturesque town on the Rhine. Monheim was founded over a thousand years ago and has an old town that looks like the set of a fairy tale. Today it boasts some 40,000 inhabitants. Among them, one of the youngest mayors in Germany. His stories sound like fairy tales too. When I became mayor in 2009, the town was 120 million euros in debt. Now we're almost that much in the black. This is largely due to tax cuts. In the past five years together, the town has had an accumulated budget surplus of around 300 million euros. Hold on a minute. The town introduces tax cuts and ends up with a huge surplus? There are now traffic jams every morning coming into Monheim. Everyone seems to be coming to work here. At Ecolab, for instance, the US producer of cleaning supplies set up its German headquarters in Monheim in 2012. And it's only one of almost 300 companies that have come in recent years. The city has acquired a reputation among foreign companies as a kind of German tax haven. Some of the city's industrial zones even look like they could be in the Caribbean. Estelle Dagorat is responsible for business development at City Hall. She says interest continues to grow. In five years, we've created 2,300 new jobs. That's incredible. Yes, it's quite a few. Can anywhere else in North Rhine-Westphalia compare? Not that I know of. Not that surprising, Monheim has lower business taxes than any other town in the whole state, such as Oberhausen, just 60 kilometers away. Chemicals firm Oxea still has its head office here, but next year the company wants to move it to Monheim. Of course, one of the decisive factors, apart from the concrete object that we have our eye on, was the taxes, and especially the commercial taxes. He wouldn't say how much exactly the company will be saving. The production works will remain in Oberhausen, but headquarters and some 120 employees will move. Oberhausen, which is already deeply in debt, will lose millions in revenue. At City Hall, people are angry that Monheim has introduced such low tax rates. I think it's really sad. Oxea has a long tradition here in Oberhausen. We're not losing it completely because the industrial unit will be staying here, so the products will still be made here. But this doesn't mean that we'll be keeping a large part of the taxes in the future. There's a danger that most of the taxes due will be paid in Monheim if the company's head office moves there. The mayor of Monheim is already looking forward to that. Is it his fault that companies in Oberhausen have to pay around 10% more in taxes than they do in Monheim? There are other places outside of North Rhine-Westphalia with tax loads that are similar to those in Monheim. And that's why I don't lose sleep over Mr. Salastra's complaints about Monheim. Because I know these companies would go elsewhere if there wasn't anything for them here. And it's totally above board. German lawmakers want towns to compete over companies. At the moment, Monheim is leading the pack in its region. And there are still plenty of lots left in the business park, with a view over the Rhine.